the main parts of the radial drilling machine are a motor for a spindle a radial arm the drill head the spindle the table the base and the column now we shall see the functions of various parts of the radial drilling machine the base the base of a radial drilling machine is a large rectangular casting that is finished on its top to support a column on its one end and to hold the work table at the other end T slots are sometimes provided on the base for clamping the work when it serves as a table column the column supports the radial arm the motor for elevating the radial arm is mounted on the column the radial arm the radial arm can be swung radially about the column to any position over the work bed and hence the name radial drilling machine the radial arm can also be raised or lowered along the column by means of an elevating screw to accommodate work pieces of different heights the drill head and the motor for driving the drill spindle are mounted on the radial arm drill head it has a motor which drives the drill spindle the drill head can be adjusted radially it can be moved along the gateways of the radial arm it can be adjusted in the correct drilling position and then locked spindle speed and feed mechanism a constant speed motor is mounted on the drill head by means of a gear train within the drill head the speed of the spindle may be varied thus multiple spindle speeds may be attained to suit to various machining conditions through another gear train provided within the drill head different feeds of the spindle are attained the feed is affected by the vertical movement of the drill into the work quick traverse feed is provided by rack and pinion arrangement to bring down the drill rapidly to the hole location and withdrawing it after drilling now we shall see the salient features of the radial drilling machine three movements are possible in a radial drilling machine the radial arm can be swung around to any position about the column also it can be raised or lowered along the column by means of an elevating screw further the drill head mounted on the radial arm can be moved horizontally on the guide base these three movements when combined together permit the drill head to be located at any desired point on a large workpiece to produce the hole when several holes are to be drilled on a single workpiece the position of the radial arm and the drill head is adjusted so that the spindle may be moved from one position to the other after drilling the hole without altering the setting of the work 
This explains the versatility of the radial drilling machine. The work may be mounted on the table, but when the work is very large, the base can also be used for holding the workpiece.